How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing a brand spanking new gaming headset that just launched today. Unless you're watching this video on a different day that isn't this one. This is the HyperX Cloud 2, successor to the original Cloud headset, which became widely popular among gamers for its affordability, comfort, and quality. Now you can still buy the original Cloud for just 80 bucks, but you'll have to shell out an even $100 for the Cloud 2. So. Why the extra $20? Well, design-wise, the headphones themselves look near identical to their original, and this is a good thing. Matte black plastic ear cups with brushed aluminum side panels, a sturdy metallic frame with easy adjustment for head size, and a padded headband with high-quality stitching accompanied by an embroidered HyperX logo. I was happy to see good flexibility in the headband, as well as just the right amount of clamping force, that in tandem with the super lightweight of just 350 grams, makes this headset wearable for hours on end without any discomfort. You might even say that it feels like a cloud on your head. Oh, that's why they call it that! It comes with pre-installed around-the-ear leatherette memory foam pads, which feel good but they've also included a pair of velour pads as a comfy alternative. The boom pole microphone is flexible for optimal mic placement and lets you know when your headset is happy to see you. It features a foam windscreen on the end to eliminate air pops and of course is detachable so you can use the headphones in public without looking like this guy. To test the sound and noise isolation of the microphone, I wired the headset directly into the rear panel onboard audio of my motherboard and recorded in both silent and noisy environments. Check it out. Check one, two. Hello everyone, this is a sound test using the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset uh, in a silent room with no ambient noise whatsoever. Uh, unless the stupid dog starts barking outside, then I'm going to kill it. S stupid dog. Alright, this is the second test. I now have the, uh, the AC running, the little window AC unit in my room on full blast, as well as typing on these uh, Cherry MX switches on my K70 RGB. Hello, my name is Kyle, and this is a test with a keyboard. So, while the mic sounds a bit tinny, it's decent enough for a gaming headset. But it still did pick up a good chunk of noise from the Red Cherry Mech switches on my K70 RGB, despite the mic's cardioid pattern. In the microphone's defense, however, it did do a nice job of leaving out the noise of my AC unit, as well as the screams coming from my bass. Shifting back to the headset, a nice improvement over the original cloud is that the cord solution has been simplified into a single four conductor jack to carry both the mic and audio signals as opposed to having them split into two separate connections. Not only does this mean less cable mess behind your computer, but it creates a more viable solution for on the go use when a microphone isn't needed. The braided cable exits out the left ear cup and measures one meter long, which I found to be the perfect length from my head to my pocket when using the product with a smartphone. Apart from that, the specifications on this headset haven't changed much either, as you still get 53 millimeter drivers and 60 ohms of impedance for clean sounding audio even at max volume. The bass manages to bring tons of body without overwhelming the fearless mids and highs, and I found a pleasurable listening experience with just about every genre of music except for country, which I've now learned sounds bad through any pair of headphones. Phones. I was also impressed by the sound isolation and insulation when using the leatherette ear cups, which is partially attributed to the headphones close back design. The velour pads perform adequately in this arena as well, but I definitely choose the leatherette pads when traveling in noisy, crowded areas like a subway or a subway. And that brings us to the main feature that separates the Cloud 2 from its predecessor, the included 2 meter USB dongle with built in sound card and audio control unit. With the dongle plugged into your computer and your headphones plugged into the control unit, you get access to volume up and down buttons for your mic and headphone, though I found these buttons far too stiff to press quickly without some directed focus, a minor annoyance when changing volume on the fly when gaming. On the left side you do get a microphone mute switch and a shirt clip on the back, but the real star of the show here is definitely support for 7.1 channel audio. One press of the center button enables virtual 7.1 surround sound, which I found to be good for watching movies and playing certain games like FPS shooters and survival horror. You'll definitely notice a much wider sound stage with 7.1 enabled, which helps you pinpoint specific audio sources around you. Naturally, this helps you pick up on things like which direction someone's running from the sound of their footsteps, or where an enemy might be lurking based on the sound of their gunfire. While this virtualized element of depth makes for a much more immersive experience all around, it's also the focal point when it comes to deciding whether or not to buy this headset. There's no doubt that HyperX and co-developer QPad have upheld their standard of high quality and comfort with the Cloud 2s, but at just 80 bucks, the tried and true Cloud headset makes them a tough sell unless you deem the extra 20 bucks worthy of getting 7.1 channel surround. 
Sure, you also get that single consolidated audio jack, which is actually a great improvement if you plan on using these as headphones on the go, but for most of us, it's a feature we'd drop in a heartbeat if it meant a $20 price cut. If I'm speaking honestly here, I can't say that upgrading from a Cloud 1 to a Cloud 2 is a worthy investment with today's current pricing. On the other hand, if your current headset's days are numbered and you're looking for a 7.1 channel solution that also works perfectly for on-the-go environments, the Cloud 2 is a quality product that's sure to serve you well for years to come. At any rate, let me know what you guys think of this headset in the comments below, or more specifically, what your take is on 7.1 channel audio. Does it take your gaming experience to the next level? Or do you prefer the unaltered sound of two-channel stereo? As always guys, toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it before you guys go, and check the description below for ways you can help support the channel, like bookmarking my Amazon affiliate link, or picking up an awesome sauce torso chassis like this one, or help me medicate myself so I no longer have wacky waving ramen noodle arms. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. You guys better hurry. This is, this is getting out of hand. Ow!